This is second grade into math, module 20, lesson one. Relate inches to a number line. I can solve two digit addition and subtraction problems using an inch ruler or a yardstick as a number line. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 492. We will start under build understanding. Miss Inez has a rope that is 35 inches long. She cuts off 14 inches from the rope. How long is the rope now? Let's look at part A. How can you solve this problem using a measuring tool? Let's think about the measuring tools that you have been learning about. Which do you think we could use to solve this problem? One tool we can use is a yardstick. And the plan would be that we would start at 35 because there are 35 inches on a rope. And then we would count backwards 14 spaces because 14 inches were cut from the rope. Part B asks us to solve this problem using a measuring tool. Show your work on a number line. So you can pause and try to solve this problem using your yardstick, starting at 35 and counting backwards 14 spaces, and then come back and follow along with me on the number line. Here we have a number line. It is from 18 to 36. Where do we start on this number line? We're gonna start at 35 again because the rope is 35 inches long. So we'll go ahead and make a dot on 35. We're going to count backwards 14 spaces because that's how many inches of the rope was cut. So we can, we can count 14 by ones or we can also use numbers we're comfortable with that add up to 14. So I'm going to go from 35 to 30. I know this is a jump of five spaces. I'm going backwards five. Now I need to go the rest to get to 14. So again, I can keep counting by five and then go four more, or I can do a total of nine. That's what I'm gonna choose to do. So I go backwards by nine. Again, if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm still gonna land at the same number. It's just a different way to go backwards. So what number did I land on? What did I solve? I solved this problem and found that the rope is 21 inches long now. So how are an inch ruler and a yardstick like a number line? I can answer that they both show numbers. There's the numbers here and there's the numbers on the uh, yardstick. And both and the numbers on both are evenly spaced. This is the same amount every time. And here it's the same thing every time is evenly spaced. Nice work. Now let's take a look at the next page, page 493 under Step It Out. Mia has 22 markers. She gives 12 markers to her friend. How many markers does Mia have now? So this is going to be a subtraction problem because we're seeing the word she gives something away. She has something and then she gives something away. Now let's take a look at part A. On the yardstick, show the number of markers Mia has. If you want to pause and try this part on your own and come back, you may do so or just follow along with me. Okay, so Mia has 22 markers. So I'm gonna make a dot right here by the 22. Now let's look at part B. How many markers does Mia give to her friend? Write the number as tens and ones. So we see that she gave 12 markers to her friends. So if she gave 12 markers, that would be two ones and one ten. Two ones and one ten. 
Now part C says to count back by ones to subtract the ones. Show your work on the yardstick. So I look here and I'm only going to take away just the ones first. So I go to my number 22 and I'm just going to take two away. One, two. When I take just two away, I land on the number 20. Part D asks me to count back by 10 to subtract the 10 and show your work on the yardstick. So here's my one group of 10. Now I'm going to go to where I left off and I'm going to take away 10, which lands me right here at the number 10. So now we're ready to look at part E. Complete the equation to show how many markers Mia has now. So first, she had 22 markers. And how many did she give to her friend? That's right, she gave 12. So we will write take away 12 markers. And then what was the answer? What did that equal when we had 22 take away 12? we got the answer of 10. So we will write the answer here, 10 markers. Great work. Let's take a look at check understanding. What is the total length of 23 inches and 12 inches? Use the yardstick to solve, show your work. At this time, you can pause if you like to try this on your own and come back to check your answer, or you can follow along with me. So I'm going to start here at 23. So I find the number 23 on the yardstick. I put a little dot right on top of it. And then I'm going to put 23 together with 12 inches. So that means I'm going to be adding those two numbers together. So I have 23 already, and I'm going to put 12 with this answer. So I'm going to do it the way that we just talked about, where first I do the ones, and then I do the tens. So first the ones is two. So I'm going to add two to the number 23. One, two, right here, plus two. That puts me at 25. Now I need to, I have to add the ones, now I'm going to add the tens. So I need to add 10 to this number. I go all the way over and add 10 and land here, plus 10, which leaves me at this number, 35. So I can answer that 23 plus 12 equals 35 inches. Great job. As always, you can go back and rewatch this video and pause anytime as needed.